or Stu the announcer today. I'm like, all right, Stu the announcer. Yeah, and I am. So uh, either way, this is Smashville, and this is going to be interesting. Ike versus Lucina. Um, it's speed versus power, generally speaking. And I don't know, man. This is. Uh, I never you thought about a, how these two interact versus each other. a mid tier. Give you a very one sided matchup. I definitely favor the high tier here. So let's go, Ike. Wait. Mm. No, no, wow, <laughs> the mid tier is currently in the lead right now. I can't believe it. That's crazy. Uh, yeah, I, I was kind of just letting that sit, but uh, I guess there was no real opportunity for that to do uh, for that to happen. Uh, I don't know. I feel like in this stage, you don't have a whole lot of room to uh, to work around the giant hitboxes that Ike can uh, throw out, but. You get in and out relatively easily. You get to just out fundy the other big sword swinging person. Like mm -hmm. the big thing in this matchup is always gonna be when you're fighting Ike, it's not who you're playing as. It is all about edge guarding him, no matter what. It's countering his up Bs, chasing him off stage, stop side being, all that stuff. It's edge guarding him. It's comboing him. It's juggling him. It's everything disadvantage because. Even though his neutral is like not amazing, it's kind of scary. It's hard to really get good openings on him because of all the range. And he's surprisingly mm. decent mobility and frame data, despite the range and power. With a few good yeah. gimmicks. But, uh, it's, it's not going to be Ike just jumping in at you all willy nilly and you get to counter punch. You have to establish yourself on the ground almost and uh, catch them upon landing. Yeah, definitely. And right now. And you know me, uh, Smash Bros. Rigor for Ike, but it's also solid for Lucina, so it's kind of just both players playing in the comfort zone, I think, which is, you know, good for game one. You want to be in your comfort zone, generally. So now is, uh. I realized I have yeah. negative one on the scoreboard? How'd I do that? That's impressive. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, already showing your already showing your uh, your Ike bias, unbelievable. Yeah, um, but I'm just a bad streamer. We all know this. But anyway, uh, oh, Lucina dying at 110 to up B because it was mid stage. Oh, the blood blood more like the oh. bad streamer. Wow, he actually. Huh. No, me roll a little bit earlier. That shouldn't happen. But he's a little late rolling. Too early to down smash. Bro, just pick your timing correctly. Don't be early. Don't be late. Just, just get a time. Yeah. Well, all of a sudden, this is winnable for guts and maybe it's a little bit of a tougher ask but i don't know man you've got a whole lot of speed and i don't think that up being constantly is going to be the key here like it's just tyranks is not falling for it you know but is he getting punished for doing it to the ledge right right okay that's gonna get punished never mind maybe up being constantly is the key bro uh you know what yeah, i will yeah, I say it's the key actually Commentator's curse right now, man. The thing is, I was made to reassess it because what it does do is it might make Tyranks uh, try to reassess and just hesitate even for a split second on their approach so that they just can't punish it. Uh, yeah, so, I mean, like, it's game. clearly working really well, you know? And that's Girl. like the big thing is just it's scaring the opponent he's not getting punished for, he's getting some free damage. And he honestly came back into this game largely off of just that. <gasps> Bad yeah, wow. That's the first down uh, dash tech he did the entire game. Yeah, and we saw, I remember there was a, it was either a DNA or a fusion where a guy wound up winning the entire bracket by basically doing nothing except nair and dash attack. So I definitely have my opinions on that. But at the same time, uh, a lot of game a lot of things to be said about game theory one of those being dominant strategy if you can't if you don't have a counterplay to a thing that you can do that helps you win just do the thing that helps you win mm -hmm. like there's nothing wrong with that uh -huh. maybe it's not the most uh maybe it's not the most uh aesthetically pleasing thing in the world but at the same time you know you're winning so who really gets to complain bro we played a win around here like if you come to my stream, guys, you know I say play to win. I say time out Luigi. I don't care. You play optimally. If you have to run around and throw projectiles all game as a character, do it. If you got to spin that shit Sonic brutally, please feel free to. That gets you the bag. In this stream, we respect and appreciate it. We may complain a little bit. Don't get me wrong. We're human. 
So I'm going to I'm going to present the counter argument here, and I'm not even necessarily saying that I disagree with your assessment of like gaming in general, but there is a concept in uh, in the game of soccer, specifically among uh, the Brazilians, who are pretty darn good at soccer, mm -hmm. where they talk about the results. Uh, you know, football de resultados and football de arte. You know, football of the results or football of art. Like, what's more important? Do you just want to win and win ugly? Or do you want to play the game beautifully and assume that the results are going to come from that? It's kind of like a counterbalance between the two. And I think that the same could apply to really any sport, Super Smash Brothers Ultimate included. Yeah, that's fair. I mean, like, I say play to win, but at the same time, obviously, you don't want people timing each other out. So I didn't understand what you're saying. Man, I'm just trying to sound tough right now, man. You're just, you're just bring all these questions where I came and say like you're wrong. Cause I'm just stuck here watching Lucina kill Ike with a show breaker. Yeah, I'm sorry for getting all philosophical on you, but I want to play Rosa. Me... So yeah, you're right. So soccer makes me get philosophical. What can I say? But I got but uh regardless, tie ranks showing uh maybe results can be pretty beautiful too with that zero to death. Yeah. I mean Sometimes there's beauty in playing protect as well, you know? That's, that's the ideal one, is when playing to win, spacing fundies is also playing to show some art. It, it, I mean, the saying goes, beauty's in the eye of the beholder, isn't it? So, tiring. True. Getting knocked, getting knocked around now. FD was the, uh... Oh, get was the did, counter Well, <laughs> Ike players. Every Ike player does that. If you're fighting Ike, honestly, when you're fighting Ike, Almost none of them just down to the ledge, I don't think. They always do something early trying to kill you. See, you can just leave those types of things out and punish. Oh my god. Oh my... <laughs> We've seen Raven King do that once or twice. And these brackets... Oh my goodness! A zero to death answered right back with one from Guts! Are you serious? Let's go! I <laughs> The counter is going work. Oh, okay. I think, I think Guts is going to be up 2 up this game. Like, I know it's not over. But bro, the mental damage inflicted there, that is like... Bro, that's a short break IRL after that one, not gonna lie. <laughs> I mean, the thing is, we've seen two zero to deaths already. We cannot discount the possibility of a third. That is true, but who's at 0% right now? Okay, uh, then, now well, it's like, yeah. Yeah, well, now it's like, exactly. So Tyrank is going to sit here, and now we can firmly discount it, but nevertheless, it's uh, Tyrank's trying to get anything resembling damage in TNT. Again, that insidious just instilling the seed of doubt at the ledge. Guts in firm control of this one, at least mentally, but on the scoreboard, they are still uh, relatively close, and that can't be discounted, the bug. That is very true. I mean, like, they're close on the scoreboard. Yeah, as it is, it is last stock. Honestly, it felt like it's been two socks to one for a while for uh, Guts, but it is last stock right now. And it's a Cena. She can bring it back. You know, Ike is very vulnerable with things. Um, it, ooh, nice homo build. But I do feel like this entire set so far, Guts has been just a little bit sharper than Tyrinx in some situations. A little better execution, better spacing, some better reads. A, a little bit above Tyrinx currently. See, even there, like, a little bit off the execution cost Tyrinx potentially the game, honestly. Yeah, they were drifting a little far away from the ledge, and I don't think that was punishable, before. but... Yeah, back throw is going to get them at least a temporary advantage. But yeah, I think Guts at the very least has established that they are willing to up B near the ledge. So oh. Tyrings is not going to approach, but Guts is going to charge right on in and make Tyrings spill their guts courtesy of that big golden sword. And that was, that, that was a hard... Those are the things where it's like... Guts is just a little bit sharper than Tyrings here, right? Like, he knows, hey, you are a kill percentage if you jump and I up air you. So I'm going to look exactly for that. And we saw a lot of, like, back hit up airs connecting from uh, Guts this uh, game, to be honest. Like, we saw a stock that was, like, that second stock, right? We did, like, two back hit or three back hit up airs into, like, back air down air. And, like, he's just using that so well. It outranges so much of Lucina's stuff. And it's so safe once it's swinging that, like, what does Lucina do about it? Yeah, and uh, if you're tie ranks now, you just got bodied on your own counter pick. That has to be a devastating blow to your mental. Yeah, 
Like, you obviously can't go in and think, oh my god, I'm out down to I'm gonna lose. You have to go in with positivity. But you have to figure out what you need to do to make this work. Otherwise, it's just fake positivity, right? It's just, you know, it isn't gonna lead to much. That's the, uh, that's the big question, ain't it? And it could be one that costs high ranks a significant amount of money. Not switching up the character. I definitely respect that. It's not like this isn't winnable, but as we go to small battlefield for game number three, what? how does Tyranks work their way back into this thing? Uh, I just think he needs to get a lot more aggressive for Psycho of Sage. Like, he's kind of letting Ike recover by trying to passively counter or just, like, hit him for doing something while sitting on Sage. But if you chase Ike off Sage aggressively, like he's doing here to Lucina, he has a lot of trouble getting past that. It's up to have armor immediately. His air speed's slow. His side needs time to charge. His air charge isn't that great. Like, he is extremely vulnerable if you overwhelm him. Like, here, you just run off stage immediately. Don't even give him a chance to do anything. That is so, the best option. So, counter an offstage up B potentially with something like your own offstage up B. That, yeah, like, maybe that. I was thinking just run off fair, run off nair. Like, get in his face, basically. If you're in his face, he can't even side you past you. You get stopped on top of you, you know? Yeah. Uh -oh. And I kind of... I kind of wonder, I mean, regardless of philosophy around the game in a vacuum, you still have to worry about your mentality within the uh, within the realm of combat. And I have to think with Tyranks, who seems to be a little scared to challenge off stage until just then, before it looked like Tyranks was playing not to lose. Now when you see moves like that to buzz, it indicates maybe Tyranks is playing to win. You got nothing to lose? Like... There's no reason to be as scared and think, oh, I gotta, I gotta make this first throw, I gotta play safe. Like, no, if you're down 0-2, it's the opposite. You gotta think, how am I gonna win this? I can't play safe. I gotta do what I need to do. Let me That is the only way. As you see right there, if he can keep doing that, he got this. Also, thank you, the GOAT TJ, for the six months tier one sub. Let's go, sub hype. And supporting the stream, supporting the dream. Absolutely. Cool stuff. And uh, once again, if you support the you support the buzz, you support collision, you are supporting Grassroots Smash. And believe me, Grassroots Smash is all the support that we <laughs> yes, possibly must throw up. So. Anyway, back to this uh, this game right now. You know, we see Tyrant with a decent lead. Um, you know, Gus is actually pretty far behind right now. Like, just one good hit and that could be a kill. Go for the edge guard. You can't really know that's too far away. One of those interesting things about Ike is that it's generally easier to like push a lead like hard when Ike's at lower percentage you can chase him. Mm. When he's at higher percentage you can't really edge guard him that well because he has time to charge up side B. So it gets a little bit difficult to kill him at these percents. Due to his weight as well. Ooh, I mean it's a, it's it. a tougher act but at the same time if you're Tyranks you're, you're sitting pretty comfortably in this one. Guts. I, I don't think that the 3-0 is out of the question, but certainly there is a way to do this and reestablish your dominance in this set. Yeah. So that might be one of them. I mean, honestly, he gets the ledge up going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, uh, I think that reestablishes dominance. All that, all that work Tyrex has been putting in to get a lead, you know, hold it, all that stuff. It just evaporates just like that. And now we're even. And you do not want to be even when you're down 0-2 in a set. Yeah, it even starts looking a lot less even. We can certainly say that. Uh, Tyrant, the last tournament that they entered was a tournament that I actually commentated, Vacation Online. They wound up doing pretty decently for themselves, getting into, uh, getting pretty deep in a bracket before eventually losing to Trey John Six, uh, who wound up getting into top eight, uh, Young Link, and also Blazing Pasta on winner's side. But uh, I don't know, obviously a little bit of a tough time dealing with the fellow sorties, and that might be indicative of uh, what we have seen here thus far, though they are on the cusp of winning this game three and getting themselves back in this set. Yep. I mean, I guess I killed Pacent, but Lucina's gonna be at the ledge. So like, this is not a great position for Lucina. Even mid Sage. Oh, but she gets a kill, unless she drops it somehow. I was about to oh. say, like, when you're in that spot, you're both at kill percents. Whoever's at the ledge is losing. Their percents don't matter anymore. But, uh, yeah, just like that. Tyrese is not going down 0-3 at least. He is showing signs of life. But is not just, um, Guts counterpick this game. If he loses, he has a counterpick again. So Tyrese has to really make sure his game plan, like, he has to make sure he doubles down on what's working and execute it perfectly. 
Man, I mean, you're absolutely right about that. But I mean, carrying momentum is a uh, is a rough ask, especially when you're talking about someone who already has two games on you. Now you're going to their counter pick. This could be uh, potentially the toughest test that Tyranks has faced in a tournament in a long time. Oh yeah, I mean, definitely down like this much. Like it's hard to not much for you to say, except he has to just play his best and he has to keep playing confident. The moment. He starts wavering, I think he'll lose. Being a wholesome presence in the Smash community Yo. and supporting the scene at the grassroots level. Button. Yo, thank you so much for Zoom with the Twitch Prime, man. I just try my best. I really do appreciate the uh, the compliment, though. Helps so much. Let's freaking go, some hype. Absolutely. And Shizumba, you're absolutely right. Thank you so much for the support. And when you got people like the buzz on your side, it really is hard to lose. So as we go to Pokemon Stadium for game number four, uh, well, Guts picked this stage for a reason. Let's hear it. Um, My guess is it's just a good Ike stage. Like the, the platforms are nice because he can use them as like a way to play offensively and defensively. He really likes platform camping like as a character. He likes the length of the stage. To really bolster survivability, come out the fact that he kills either off like anywhere in the stage with like Nair up there, or at the ledge with ledge trapping, and the close blast zones to the, uh, the ledge help him a lot. And yeah, there's really nothing about this stage that's bad for him. It's not like an auto one from anything. Obviously, it's PS2, but it's also just a good comfort pick because it's PS2. He I has mean, a double jump. He died. It's yep. kind of become the default starter stage, and guts right now at, down a huge deal. I mean. Only really getting that one Delt Tilt at the ledge to start off that first stock. Okay, is he really Tyrank down, though? <laughs> going to kill off the side? Oh, okay. You know what? I was asking for the reason. I, all I had to do was wait exactly one minute. For yeah, yep. You see, at the ledge, like a 40% dead. That's just... Uh, there we go. And now even even game. Once again, like, Tyrex keeps getting hit by this stuff. Like, he'll be winning neutral, having the lead. And then suddenly, for, um, Gus is just like, yeah. My name is Guts for a reason, bro. That Thorus smash, ballsy. It really is. Yo, he really just said, do you have it? Like, that's nuts. Um, that said, he stepped out a lot. Like, he is not having a fun time in neutral at all. I, I, just, I just remembered that you might not get that reference, so please just ignore me. Um, either way, it's going to be a dash attack. And TNT, I'm just reading the name on the screen, Guts. Not uh, not going to find the mark there, but yeah, what works for you works equally for Lucina, and that evenly dispersed damage across the sword is going to find its mark via the last hit of side B, and yeah, Dancing Blade and Tyrex looking to dance on into the game five, and piling on the extra credit here. I know it's an overused term, but- Down here, up but there. Bro. willing to pay it right back. Bro. Y'all just think about this. You know what cool would be if I could a uh, short break with up smash? I think it'd be sick, personally. I want to see that in the next patch. What, oh, how do you feel about that? I am going to withhold my comments All on right, that. Alright, that's and fair! <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know what? I, I, as, as an impartial journalist, I am going to withhold opinion in this particular instance. I reserve that right. And it's going to be TNT uh, running in and swinging their giant golden sword, as Ike likes to do, if you haven't noticed already. Um, Apparently, look at this percent lead now. He finally has a lead. He's been on like, the back foot this entire game, I feel like. But look, the positioning, the percent, everything is just currently Guts' favor. You have to yeah. wonder, like, if you're tiring, you're a kill percent right now versus Ike. You, ha you can't play afraid, but you have to be afraid. You have to really steal yourself and not let this get to you. Yeah, this would be Gut Guts' first... Uh, this would be Guts' first uh, top eight, I believe, since they wound up winning Mega Smash Monday's Online 20, where they actually beat Kia, Kia Rash in Grand Finals via reset. So, yeah, they're... Uh, they're pretty darn good at the game. And that one wound up going five games in the reset. And if you're able to take out quality opponents, that's something else. But this has been uh, this would be the first time in a long time that they have touched grands or winners final oh, in a bracket of this it. size. This guts. That's all I'm gonna say is his name is Guts. He could die if that was blocked. He's up such a shield. It doesn't matter to him.